Hello, my name is Olivia DeVenti with Market Education for Kimball Office, and in this quick little module, we're going to identify uh, what columns you might want to set up in Worksheet. So let's first look at the columns on my screen. I'm going to explain why, and then there's a few columns that you might want to add. Uh, so first, um, you have your item list, and your item list simply shows you the priority of the items in your bill of materials. If I select one of these items, and I shouldn't have highlighted it, but if I selected one of these items, Items, and I wanted to move it up then I could simply use the up or down arrows in this instance I'm going to move the item to the top if you would like to um, for instance sort an item you'll notice that there's a variety of or excuse me column names here and you can simply select on that catalog or excuse me category and it's going to sort those items back in the original order based off alphanumeric um, identifiers the next column that you might be interested in is the check mark that you see here above and that's really identified by your options to make sure that all your options are selected. So you can see that my first two items have check marks because they're completely optioned out. However, you'll notice my third item has a paint palette. It needs to be optioned out. We'll look at optioning finishes in just a moment. Notice in the third column you'll see a lock. Now locks are important. If you have um, a special identifier for an item and you don't want it to be manipulated, uh, then you might want to choose a lock. Simply left click into that box and you'll see the lock appear. Now as easy, it was, as easy as it was for me to left click, I can left click again and it'll disappear. So locks are only as good as the person who's disciplined enough to use them. Another favorite are flags. You might make finished selections or incorrect selections on an item and the CAP worksheet will automatically, or I should say 2020 worksheet, will automatically uh, note that item as a flag or area of concern. Uh, so that's always where flags come in handy just to note to the person behind you that something special about this item. Please pay attention. The next column that I love and adore is Preview, and we'll look at Preview if you haven't looked at it before. It'll place an actual image of that item into your 2020 worksheet file. Uh, next we have Manufacturer, which is KIM for Kimball, Catalog, which is KL8 for Catalog, followed by the Quantity and Part Number. Now the part number referenced um, in item number two is referring to a base model number which is complete. Let's say for instance um, that model number such as item number three has a base model number but a series of selections haven't been made and that's noted by looking at the browse feature. I call this out because your part number is based on your base model number with option selections made. That's why the option group column is so important. To deselect item number three in this worksheet, I'm going to hit the item uh, and it deselected that item. So currently no items uh, have been selected. In looking at option group, notice that it's actually showing you the visual identifiers to each one of the selections that you're making, followed by part description, and you notice where it says skipped option. If I had made finished selections here, you would have actually seen those called out. Next is unit list. If any of these options contain an upcharge, that's going to change indiv individual lines, which is going to change my unit list. This is a great way to show end users, customers, where additional costs are coming in. Finally, I have list and extended list. If you would like to move columns around, such as put your quantity in front of unit list, simply hold your left mouse button down and drop it in front of unit list and you'll notice that it's automatically placed there. If you'd like to bring additional columns up or change the order in a different location, then you can simply right click on any of these headers and go to what's called customize columns. This will show you a master view of all columns that are available that you might like to insert into your quote. Because again, 2020 worksheet can be used by the project manager, the specifier, the person placing order entry, as well as the salesperson. So just because columns are turned off doesn't mean the information's there. It just simply means it's not visible. 
Well, that's our overview for worksheet. And if you have any questions about other columns that might be identified uh, as important, please feel free to reach out to Olivia, A L I B as in boy, I A dot Deventi, D E V E N T E, at Kimball, K I M B A L L dot com. 